Hi everyone, it's Angela from Cake Angel and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Among Us Crewmate cookie. And for this we're going to be using marshmallow fondant instead of royal icing just to show you a different medium that you can work in with cookie decorating. We're going to be using my homemade 3D printed cookie cutter for this to help us cut out our designs. So let's get going. So there's a few different tools that we'll be using for this. I'll go through each of them with you as we start the process. First thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of shortening and put this on our work board. And this is to stop our fondant from sticking to the board when we're rolling it out. I'm using marshmallow fondant as I mentioned earlier and I'm going to pop the recipe link at the top for you so you can have a go at making that yourselves. It's a really great fondant to work with and it tastes so much better than the store bought ones as well. It's super pliable, really really tasty in flavour too and super easy to make so check out that video when you finish watching this one. I'm just rolling it up in my hands here to warm it through and whatever fondant you're working with you always want to do that because it makes it much easier to work with. Next I'm using a rolling pin with some guide rings on it and this is to ensure that my fondant stays at the same depth all the time when I'm rolling it out which will give those cookies that nice even coverage. So next I'm going to go ahead and cut out my shape. As I'm using a 3D printed cutter, you just want to give that cutter a little bit of a jiggle back and forth to make sure you get a really nice sharp outline from it. And then I'm just going to smooth down the edges and apply it straight to my cookie. Now as you're using fondant, you actually don't need to apply anything to your cookie to get that to stick. There is enough moisture in the fondant itself that it will stick to the cookie directly. And then we're just gonna use the fleshy part of our hand as a smoother and smooth that down onto the cookie. Now you wanna focus on the edges of the fondant when you do this so you get a really nice edge throughout. And just make sure you don't have any crumbs on your hand when you're doing this so it'll keep that fondant nice and smooth. So see how quick that was? Really, really quick. I'm using my own tools here rather than any specific tools that I've had to buy. But the next thing we're going to do is use a Dresden tool to actually add a little bit of detail to our fondant. And I'm using the thinner end which has got a really nice, almost like a sharp edge to it on the one side which can give us our little line to show the side of the Among Us character. Then I'm just going to tidy up the edges with the ends of my Dresden tool. Next thing we're going to do is make the mask and I'm using just two different colours of fondant for this. We're starting with a light blue and you don't need too much of this so take a little bit, warm it up in your hands again and I do recommend that you always knead up fondant before you start rolling with it. This just helps to make it a little bit more pliable and easier to work with. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll it out again with our rolling pin. Now you'll see me pick up my fondant occasionally. This is just to make sure it isn't sticking to the board and it just makes it easier to move everything around as well. Just going to roughly eyeball the size that we need for this and this is a cutting wheel tool. I'm going to pop the link for this and the other tool in the description for you. And I'm just going to go around and rough cut that shape. So we're just using an oval shape for the mask. Don't worry if it isn't perfect when you've cut it as this is fondant which you can manipulate really easily and then just tap any edges down with your fingers to make the shape that you need. And then we're going to hold it up against our cookie and just check to see whether the sizing looks right. That looks pretty good to me. And then same as before we're just going to pat it down carefully into place and smooth it down, make sure the edges are nice and clean on it. Again, we're not needing any glue at all for this because it will stick nicely to itself. And you can see I'm just using that fleshy part of my thumb to smooth it down too. You can also use your Dresden tool to reshape the edges as well. So just lightly pushing them up to form that circular shape. And then again, smoothing it down with the palm of my hand. 
That's great, so that's the first layer done. The next thing we're going to do is just roll up that fondant and pop it away. You'll see I always keep my fondant in plastic wrap and that's to stop it drying out. So we're going to go ahead now and add the white detail to the mask. You're going to need a smaller bit of fondant this time, but just make sure you've got enough that you can actually work with it. Knead it up in your hands again. And you want to make this nice and smooth, so make sure there's no lines in your fondant before you roll it out. So same process as before, you can see this piece is smaller, so we're going to cut a smaller shape this time, but still using the same tool, our cutting wheel. I find the smaller one is really good for the smaller details too. And again, don't worry if your edges aren't perfect, you can correct those with your fingers once we pick the piece up. Now it is quite small, you'll see that it's a little trickier to hold sometimes, but just go back and pick it up and then smooth the edges down with your fingers. And then you just want to place it on top of the blue. And as before, we're just going to use the fleshy part of our fingertips to smooth it in place. Nice and easy. Let's give it another touch up with our Dresden tool as well, just to sharpen up those edges. And one final smooth down just to make sure everything stays in place. And that's it, that's our Among Us cookie made. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and you've learned some new techniques and you'll feel encouraged to try using fondant on your cookies as well. You can see we've got a really nice ratio of fondant to cookie and let's have a look at them together. The nice thing about making Among Us cookies as well is that you can do a variety of different colours. Really great set, I like these six as well. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let me know which colour is your favourite and I hope that you'll like this video. Also subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notifications of my next video and thanks so much for watching.